The following question reads that camphor used for medical purposes. The diagram shows its structure. So this is a molecule of camphor. And you're being asked, uh, how many chiral centers are present in one molecule of camphor? Now, the first thing is, what's a chiral center? A chiral center is when a carbon is forming four bonds and single bonds with four different groups. That's, uh, that's what a chiral center is. Uh, it would have many images. It's going to form enantiomers. So we know, we're looking for a carbon that is capable of forming uh, or is forming four different. It's attached to four different groups. So we're going to start with the first one. The first one is definitely incorrect. It's bonded to three hydrogens. This one is incorrect. It's bonded to two hydrogens. This one over here is also incorrect. It's bonded to two hydrogens. I'm going to cut out anything that's attached to the same groups. This one is attached to three hydrogens. This one is attached to three hydrogens. And this one is attached to two hydrogens. And I'm going to remove this one as well because it's a double bond. Remember, I was talking about single bonds. So what are we left with? We're left with this carbon atom. Now look at this carbon atom. It is attached to four different groups. Top is CH3. This side, there's a chain. This side, there's a different chain. And at the bottom, there's a different chain. So all four sides of this carbon atom are different. So this one is chiral. Then focus on this carbon atom. This one is not chiral because uh, there's a CSD on one side and a CSD on the other side. So both groups are the same. So out of the four bonds, uh, two of the groups, this one and this one, they are exactly the same. So we'll reject that. And let's move to the last one. This is chiral as well. Because bottom is different, top is different. This side is different. There's a serial bond also. It's a different carbon chain. This side is different as well. It's a different carbon chain. So all four sides are different as well. So in total... After rejecting all the other molecules, I have two chiral carbon centers. So option C is going to be the correct answer for this question.